Um, I'm gonna use the smudge brush, which is typically an eyeshadow brush, but I like to use it for contour and brightening highlight. And then I'm gonna use my favorite, the blush and bronzer brush. Remember, you can get this baby on sale. If you go to collections um, and then scroll down to bronzer collection, it gives you $11 off, I think. So it's definitely worth it. So without further ado, get those color match selfies in. Remember just to look out a window or front door, no lights on overhead or behind you. Shut them all off. Show a little bit of neck, snap a selfie, send it to me, and I can get the best makeup ever in your hands. You can also go to collections, select your collection, select your shade, and add to bag. So I'm gonna start with the contour because that's just what I'm used to doing. Um, you could start anywhere, but I'm using the smudge brush. The only reason I really like this brush is because you have a ton of control because it's small and you have stiff bristles. So <clears throat> the lines you put on your face should be a little more accurate. But if they're not, it doesn't matter because cream is <clears throat> forgiving. So that's another reason why it's superior. So remember, we just find our cheekbone and go up and under on both sides. See, look, we're sculpting our face. And this contour has coverage too. So <clears throat> that's a wonderful thing about Saint. Every part of our 3D foundation has coverage. The goal is one layer of makeup. So um, you don't feel or look like a cake. So we went up and under the cheekbone and then temple to temple along the hairline. This brush is great for nose contour, especially if you're nervous about it because it's small and you just follow your eyebrow line down the nose. See how easy that was? Um, I also like the detail brush for placement because you can kind of stamp out your colors too. But this one works pretty nice for contouring. So I wanted to show it off, show her off the little smudge brush. She's tiny but mighty. So we followed that eyebrow line down the nose on both sides and then I cut it off right at the tip because otherwise it looks long. But we're just about done with the contour. And look, the shape that we're getting on our faces all by ourselves, we did it. And now I'm gonna go right under my lip for some added pucker. If I can do it, you can do it. Look at that. A little bit of extra zhuzh in the lip. And then right on the jawline, because we are chiseling out that face of ours and really giving it some sharp angles and structure. So I put it on my jaw. I like to brush that back right away because if I don't see it, I'll forget about it. And that has happened a few times before. So I just like to brush that back. So out of sight, usually I forget. So now I'm gonna go to the other side of the smudge brush, but I could stick with this side. There is no rhyme or reason to switch because the brushes are made for the cream, so they kind of pick it up and deposit it right on your skin. So actually, I'm just gonna use the side I use for contour just to prove my, my uh, what I just said. And I'm gonna pick up a little brightening highlight and draw a little sprout um kind of in between the brows and then i'm gonna go down my nose a little here just to get that light and bright and narrowness of the nose um and then i'm gonna put a little on my cupid's bow which is this right here and you see how red i am i'm just gonna lightly dot a little bit of brightening highlight where i have some redness my allergies are nuts right now so a little brightening highlight erases the red. And then a little on the chin here, right in the middle. Remember, this is our triangle of light. So we did in between the brows, down the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and then I'm gonna pick some up and do the inner corner of the eye. And remember where, I mean, where I have texture is right here. So less really is more, but you'll see what I get with the tiniest amount. Light, bright, and then I follow that um, corner of the lower lash line up to really lift the eye. And we're gonna blend in the end, so don't get worried. Once you do this, you know, the average bear, I think about two times, you kind of got it down. It took me about three or four, but then I felt super comfortable <clears throat> and didn't need to like follow anything. I just, I knew what I liked and it took me less than five minutes. 
So we're done with brightening highlight. In between the brows, down the nose, cupid's bow, chin, inner corner by outer corner by follow that lower lash line up for a lift. Same thing over here. And then I switch to my blush and bronzer brush. <clears throat> Remember, the 3D brush is great and it'll get the job done. So if you just want one, I would go with that one. Now I'm going into my main highlight and just bouncing in. And I'm gonna put this where I don't have product, that lower half of the face. And I'm stippling, which means pressing it in. It's nicer to your skin. You get the most out of your makeup. It's a good habit to get into, but I swipe, as you can see. It just, it's part of me. Hard habit to break. So I'm going to just blend the light, and then we'll blend the dark. And then, voila, we have our Saint 3D look. So a stippling is best, like I said. So try to remember to do that, especially on that delicate under eye skin. And the reason we like a couple shades of brightening high or highlight, uh, the main highlight and the brightening, you know, it's about two steps difference. Um, it's so we have that light and bright in the center on that triangle of light to bring light to our eyes. And it's nice to have it too, like in between seasons too, like as we're dipping into winter, if you lose a little bit of color, then you can do half your main highlight, like a dab of your main highlight and a dab of your brightening highlight and still have the color of your skin, you know? So I love that we have a couple shades and our skin is always changing, especially as women. So I kind of, I think, stippled it all out. I usually find a spot that I forgot, but now we're gonna get that uh, dark color, the contour color, just push it back in your hairline or do small circles. We're just kind of blending, blending, blending. And the 3D foundation brush has this exact end, so it does the exact same thing. And then we're just gonna buff out our nose a little bit. Just run our brush over. And then kind of the only um, thing with 3D is to lift up and back with that cheekbone contour. So just remember to do little flicks up and back to lift the face. We're lifting. Look at that. We have light, bright coverage and some dimension with our 3D foundation. Just like that. Hello. Now I'm gonna add a little bronzer and a lip cheek and that's all she wrote. Um, remember our eyeshadows. I recommend Bella Bronzer and I love this. If you're gonna do bronzer or if you're a bronzer gal, make sure to get the bronzer collection because this brush is amazing. And I feel like you can definitely do bronzer with the 3D brush. It's just easier with the blush and bronzer brush. So that bronzer gives us that warm glow, no shimmer, no orange, just a nice warm glow. I think I'm gonna do Ruby because I love her. Uh, so this is Ruby. She's kinda, kinda loud. But she's super pretty. And you can make her more muted by blotting or using less. And you can definitely bold her out by adding another layer too. So I'm gonna add a little ruby to my cheeks. Boom, boom. I like to go on the apples because I have lost volume mid face. Now, if you wanna thin, start on your outer corner of your eye and go back, and that will thin your face out. Or continue to thin like the contour is doing. But that's ruby, isn't she good? And sometimes I get like a little bit too rubified with my lip cheek. So I kind of just have to tame it down a little, but it's easy. It's easy and it's made for everyone. So this is Saint 3D. I'm gonna do a little finisher spritz. Sometimes this does me dirty, but oh, she worked today. She's a fine mist. So you just kind of let her go all over your face, let it dry and you are good to go. This stuff makes your makeup last all day. Um, if you are on the oily side, I would definitely grab the Vanilla Dust Setting Powder, or if you're an eyeshadow gal, that's such a nice base. Um, and then if you're uh, on the dry side, I would grab our setting spray, it's fantastic. And I use this cute little compact today. Remember, when you're going um, through, after you get color matched, go through Palette Builder, because every tin you add is gonna give you palette credit. So it's gonna make your palette discounted. So go through Palette Builder, add your tins, and this will be cheaper. 
I always recommend starting with a 12 because then you have room to grow. I'm here for you.